Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a palette bingo on this palette right here. It is the W7 Delicious palette and it is the perfect fall appropriate palette I think. And yes, it is looking very much alike the Modern Renaissance for Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I am going to do a palette bingo on this bad boy right here and this is the look that I have come up with. So if you haven't seen this kind of video before, it is basically where you choose a palette and then you randomize the a few numbers in a generator and then you pick five. Four to five colors. So in this palette there are 14 shades, obviously randomizing 1 to 14 and then picking out my numbers. And yeah, I'm really really excited to show you guys the look I have done. Uh, it turned out way better than I uh, anticipated, but I really really enjoy it. If you guys want me to do palette bingo on all the W7 palettes that I have, I have quite a few uh, and I really really enjoy most of them. So let me know if you want me to do palette bingos more often. I really really enjoy them and I have missed it so much. I didn't even realize how much I missed it until I filmed this video. I really hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the choosing of the colors and look. So I will just quickly prime my eyes with my Suiva eyeshadow primer. As I said in the intro, I will choose five shades from my W7 Delicious palette. I am going to pull out my random.org and I am going to generate between 1 and 14 shades because there is 14 shades in the palette. So the first number is 7 and that is... I'm going from 1 to 7 and 8 to 14. So number 7 is this one right here. The dark one, cross. This palette doesn't have names so that is quite annoying. So this is the first shade that I am going to work with and that is probably going to be in my outer corner or my lower lash line or something. Maybe an eyeliner. Maybe. The second one is number four. And that is this shade right there. This mauve kind of matte color. That one right there. <sighs> yep. Let's see if it, if we can do an all matte look because I've only gotten matte shades so far. Yep, that's a matte shade number thirteen. I actually haven't used that shade a lot because it is this one right there. Light brown shade. This look is going to be very cool toned, maybe, right there. Kind of boring actually, but uh, yeah, let's see what I can do. Two more. Number six. Oh, let me show you. I got number six and that is the red shade pinky red something that one right there the last one which is 11 my luck today it's another mat that one we have all these very pretty cool tones and then this comes around yeah I think we can go with the cool tones though. <laughs> yeah, these are the colors, which are all matte. I'm not an all matte type of girl. Taking a fluffy brush and I am going to be using this shade right there that I pulled out and putting that in my crease. Because I don't know where I'm going to use that otherwise. Okay, that is not uh, that light. Mm. 
This is definitely darker than in the pan when you haven't set your eye base. I normally set my eye base, so... I just thought I would do something different today. So, I want to talk to you about this palette or because as you can see this is very much alike the modern renaissance palette but i want to know how you guys feel about it because i don't really mind having a cheaper option when you don't have that much money to spend on makeup then i think this is going to be a nice option i'm going in with the mauve shade trying to put it in my crease as well um, but how do you guys feel about it? Because I know there are different opinions on it and I would like to talk to you guys about it. Because as I just said, I actually don't mind. To some people it can be so annoying uh, to see another brand copying, duping uh, a certain palette. But these are very, very nice. They are so creamy and, as you can see, very pigmented. Um, I'm very, very surprised about this palette. I'm, I have thought about doing a comparison of this one and the original Modern Renaissance palette because my best friend, she has the original, which I thought could be very, very awesome to try and compare them. I think I'm going to be taking the red one all over the eyelid. Actually, I never, I never really do that. Let's just try. I can just scratch this video if it's not good. But I'm going to take it on a flat brush. Actually, the brush that it came with. I have never used this brush before. And see if it is patchy or what. Not really. That is a beautiful color. But I will say that W7 had a very <laughs> long period of time where they were kind of copying bigger brands uh, makeup or layouts and stuff like that because it was popular um, but the people that buys and follow W7 I realized in the comments of the of the pictures they were very very positive and they were so excited for a brand releasing a, a cheaper version of for example modern renaissance because not everyone can afford that palette or that price range Oh, I really, really love this color. I don't use it enough. Take the light color again, the light, light brown, and mix it with the mauve shade. And put that in my crease to blend out that red. And I am going to highlight my brow bone, I think, with this color. I have allowed myself to pull in one color. So just to blend out that dark dark brown. It was not supposed to be this dark, but did. <laughs> Going in with the mauve shade one more time. I like it. Then I am left with two darker shades. This red one and this dark brown one um, yeah let's do the dark brown in my outer V I think just a little bit just to deepen up so this is a very smoky red fallish look And then my camera can charge while I am doing the base because it is running low. So, when I come back, I am going to use this on my lower lash line. And then I, I am going to decide afterwards if I am going to top 
some of these shimmer shades on the red but I actually really like the all matte look that I have done um, which is surprising because I love my shimmer but I like this red color so, yeah. I am going to do my base and then I'm going to be right back okay um, I'm back I have done my mascara and some liner eyebrows and stuff like that so now I'm just going to finish off the eyes so the shade we have left to use for this palette bingo is this shade right there and I'm going to take that on my lower lash line Let me tell you guys, it was so hard to do this wing because I think my liquid liner is almost empty. <laughs> so it was kind of dry to use. Now we have used all the shades in the palette bingo and then I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to take my highlighter shade and put that in my inner corner and then we are going to put on mascara and then we're done. So this is the final look and I'm so so happy with this look. I think it is so fall appropriate with the red color. Love it. Okay, let's zoom out. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really really enjoy doing these videos and the look I can't stop looking at my eyes i love this red color and it actually matches my shirt and i just realized that <laughs> um, so yeah i really really enjoyed this video let me know if you want more of them i really enjoy making them for you guys and yeah until next time please take care bye